I just picked Ayla from school. And I have my hair and makeup done except lipstick because I'm supposed to go to an event tonight, but I really don't feel like going because I just don't feel good. Family issues. <laughs> and I just want to relax. I'm really, really tired. I don't really feel good. I don't want to go, but I'm trying to figure idea. out. I'm trying to figure out like if I should just go or not. <laughs> Whatever, anyways, we're going to Subway right now. Well, we just got, <clears throat> excuse me. We just got to Subway to get Ayla some lunch. I think I might eat something too. I don't have much of an appetite, but I think I'm just gonna force myself to eat something. We just left Subway. Yes, we did. Um, so cold. I, like ran out the door without my coat to go pick up Ayla. Now I'm freezing. I just don't want her to be alone. What? <laughs> I decided to go to the event tonight. I'm going with Nadia. If I was going alone, I would definitely would not have gone. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go. I already have my hair and makeup done, so that saves a big chunk of time for me. I just have to get dressed. I think I know what I'm wearing. I'm just so tired. I think when I come back, I'm just gonna lay down or something. Just go to sleep early. <sighs> Max! Guys, I think I might take a nap and Hi. if I'm gonna take a nap, you know it's serious because I am not a napper. Neither am I. I'm seriously not a napper, but I think I might take a nap right now. Oh, stop being so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Maxi, hi babe. Hey guys, I have my little setup here for when I take my old TD outfits by myself. And it is so hot in here right now. What time is it? It's 3.30, my car is arriving at 4.30. Ooh, <coughs> so I actually, I cannot talk like this. So I actually have a good hour to just relax. I'm probably just gonna edit some photos and do a little bit of work um but i just want to show you guys what i'm wearing today i'm gonna have a photo up on instagram but this is my outfit of the day i have on this like little loose dress thing i have leggings on underneath because it does have a really high slit it's all black so you guys might not really see it too well and then i have maxi some of the kids are laughing also then i have on some thigh high boots these are got from fashion nova quite a while ago and i love them Max, I'm trying to vlog. I'm trying to vlog. I'm starting to feel a little bit better earlier. I did not want to go to the event whatsoever, but I'm feeling a little better. I'm dressed. I'm ready to go. So it should be fun. It should be a fun night. The event is for the men's fragrance curve, the men's cologne curve. And Christina Milian is hosting the event. So it should be a fun night. It's only like a two hour event. It's like a quick thing, I think. But yeah, the only thing I'm annoyed about is that it's supposed to rain tonight which I hope it's not too bad, but I mean, I'm gonna be in the car. It's not like I have to like really wait outside, so it'll be fine. I am ready to go. I wasn't gonna wear my heavy coat, but you know what? It's gonna rain. It's pretty cold out. Um, the car's already outside, so I'm gonna go wait for Nadia in the car. She should be here soon. And then we can go to the event. <laughs> oh, it's just got really dark. We're at the curb event. Um, we were like the first ones here for the first time ever. Super early. And we were late. Too early. But we were late. We were only late for the car, yeah. One, one spray, and it's just got this effortless gift to it that just that smells good. A curvy reality captures the playfulness, and it showcases the most powerful aspect of the fragrance. It's a catalyst that transports you into a fantasy, like we've been talking about. So here's an exclusive sneak peek of the Curve Your Reality videos. Oh. That was Christina Milian. She did her little speech. Nadia's vlogging too. We should put them to look at each other. Hi guys. Hi guys. Yeah, so we just went out. Like a Japan commercial. They're really funny and really cute. Guys, I'm 
hate this yellow lighting, but I want to show you guys. Um, this is the gift bag from the event. Hey, Maxi, you want to see what I got? It's so cute. It's like a little takeout. And then we have the little curve thing. They put like all the info for the new fragrance in here. And then let's see what's inside. So this is the cologne. This is actually Chris's favorite cologne. So I'm really excited that this is what they gave out. So I get to give it to him. And then I don't know what this is. It's like, oh, it looks like a Rice Krispie Street. But I'm really glad I ended up going to the event. I know earlier I was not having it. I almost didn't go at all. And it ended up being so much fun. Chris is like laughing hey, watching my so snaps. Stupid. <laughs> He's watching. So um I'm, that. That was funny as hell. I'm glad I funny as hell. I'm trying to vlog. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad I went. It was a lot of fun. Me and Nadia had oh, fun. And then we got to meet Christina. And she was like so down earth and fun. So it was a good event. So I've been up for a couple hours now. It is almost gonna be 12 o'clock, and I spent the morning putting up putting. I can't talk sometimes. I spent the morning putting up a new blog post, and that is live on my blog right now. Um, if you guys don't know, I do have a blog as well. It's called superglamnews.com. But I'm mostly active on YouTube because that's just what I love so much. But every once in a while, I try to post all my YouTube videos. Not all of them, but my beauty and fashion ones. I try to post them on my blog. And there are certain things that I want to write about. So I write about them instead of blogging. I mean, instead of like the videos because sometimes it's impossible to get everything on video because I only upload three times a week. And one of the one of those days are vlogs. Like more personal vlogs so the last vlog i was organizing my products which i successfully moved to my parents house where i am moving by the end of the month moving back to um i got a lot of products out but i let's be real like i still have 90 percent of everything i own in this apartment but i did clean up my living room which was a hot mess like i couldn't even walk around the living room for the past two days but i finally cleaned it up we can actually sit now. <laughs> there was crap everywhere. Everything is neat. Hi, Maxie. Say hi. Say hi, baby. <laughs> so yeah, everything is cleaned up. Those are all products that I have to take to my mom's house as well, but I gotta wait for Chris to carry that for me. What else do I have to do? I have to pick up Ayla in a little bit. And I don't know what we're gonna do. We're probably gonna get lunch. I have to stop by Sephora. I have a $20 off and I think it ends on the 11th. So it ends in just a few days. So I'm going to go and use that. I really, really want to find, I'm on the hunt for a new foundation. Um, I'm, I was obsessed with the Lancome 24 hour foundation, but lately I feel like it's been looking a little too yellow on me and I have yellow undertones. Let me get better lighting. I have yellow undertones, which is what I like when I find a found when I get a foundation because it just blends a lot better with me. But I feel like that one has been looking a little too yellow, or maybe it's just that it's getting old because I have had it for over a year. Like I probably need to get just a new foundation because I don't remember it being that yellow. I think it's because it's really old. Like that's it. I have to stop wearing that foundation. I probably won't. I'm just gonna go to Sephora and see if I find a foundation. And we shall see how that goes. I feel like I had something else to tell you guys, but I can't remember. Max has been playing all morning long. <laughs> he found a bean show. Give me that. You can't bite that. That is not a toy, babe. Go play with your million toys that I buy you. Last night at that event with Christina Milian, literally this just hit me later. I was just telling Ayla. <laughs> So Christina Milian used to date Lil Wayne, which is like best friends with Drake, and I was holding her cell phone at one point. Hey, let's cross really quick. I could have totally looked through her phone and gotten Drake's number. <sighs> Why didn't I think quicker? Could have been FaceTiming Drake maybe right now. Maybe could have, instead of looked through her phone, maybe you could have asked her for Drake's number. Yeah, because she would have been like, sure, let me give you his number right now. Maybe, you never know. Oh, I lost my chance. Anyways, we're about to get some smash burger. Go through her phone because what if she catches? I was holding it. I was going through it. I was like writing something in her phone. Anyways, all right, this is what we get at Smash Burger. I get the avocado burger, the sweet potato fries, my favorite, and Ayla gets the classic. Good or not? We just finished having lunch. It was so good. It was. I'm really full now. And now we're gonna stop by Barnes and Noble. My favorite store ever. I have a novel. Taylor should throw the book. 
where? Oh no, I think it's like by her fans. Uh, oh, I wanted this for, for my new apartment to put in the living room. I'm gonna get this when I move. Not right now though. I'm sorry. Oh my god, the towel. Towel. Oh yeah, how about that? Alright, I'm gonna go look for a book. I have this too in my living room. I know, I know. I'll show you. <laughs> Alright, Ayla's dancing. I finally found my book. Ah, but why are you able to hit you? No, I was just trying to fix my hair. Okay. So I'm going. Oh my god, my phone almost fell. I'm gonna go with this book. It's called The Five People You Meet in Heaven. This is actually an older book. I've always wanted to read it and I just read the description and I could tell it's gonna be really good. Let's go, girl. Ayla, you want a book or not? Or you're reading a book right now, right? Yeah. Okay. She's reading The Outliers. The Outsiders. The Outsiders. For school. Um, I think there's a book called The Outliers also. That's why I thought of it. Um, I saw The Outsiders downstairs. They have the original one, then they have the new copy, then they have the hard cover. Oh, show me and I'll show you if it's, it's, well, if it's the one that I have. Alright, let's go. Sorry. I think I have a coupon I'm going to use. Yeah. Got a new foundation and I got a lip product. I'll show you guys when I get home. And I got a glittery hand. Ayla had makeup all over her hands, but she cleaned it off. I'm gonna get Starbucks now, cause I'm sleepy. I don't know if I can I get a hot chocolate. Yeah, get a hot chocolate. Look, they have they have different hot chocolates. They have white chocolate, they have salted caramel. I think I'll just have a regular. Okay. Gosh, she wants everything today. I can't deal. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me see what I want. Cake pop. It's only a dollar. Yes, you can have the cake pop, but I'm not buying you anything else today. You've run your limit. I have bought her so much stuff today. I got her lunch. I got her a new book. I gave you ten dollars. She gave me ten dollars. Girl, bye. We got our Starbucks. How cute is this snowman cookie? Ayla got her cake pop. Is it good? It's chocolate chip cookie dough. Can I get a little bite? Just a tiny bite. Mmm. What is this good? Got my Sephora. Ayla got a hot chocolate and I got a gingerbread latte. He's so happy we're home finally. And we took him outside and he peed outside. Yay! Good boy. Alright. Well, that's some side eye drink. <laughs> anyway, so these are the two products I picked up from Sephora. Oh my gosh. Ayla is such a hater. I'm <laughs> not not. If you guys are beauty insiders or uh VIB Rouge, you got a promo code. Not a promo code. You got um, like a reward this week. If you're VIB Rouge or whatever it's called, I think you got $25 off. If you're Beauty Insider, you got $20 off. So I had $20 off. So I really wanted to try something since I had the $20 off. But it has to be $20 off of $50. So you have to spend at least $50. So I got a foundation. I got these Smashbox. Well, first, let me tell you, I asked you guys on Snapchat to recommend your favorite foundations. And so many people said the NARS Sheer Glow. Like, everyone said something different, but a handful of people said the NARS Sheer Glow, which I never considered. So I went to Sephora to get the NARS Sheer Glow because it looked really good. And so many people, so many of you guys were saying to get it. So I went and I tried that one. She tried it on half my face. And then on the other half, she was like, you should try. Oh, she did the Beauty IQ thing, this machine that she puts on your skin, like here, here, and here. And it recommends different foundations based on your skin type and it gives you your shade as well so the NARS Sheer Glow actually didn't come up at all based on my skin tone and my skin type 
but the Smashbox one did and this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. It's a 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. But she did the NARS here go on half my face and the um, I was going to say Sephora, the Smashbox one on the other half and they both look honestly looked really good but I ended up going with the Smashbox one because she really liked it. She said it's one of her favorites and also because it's one of the ones that came up for my skin type. I think the NARS Sheer Glow is, it says it's really good for normal and dry skin. I don't have dry skin, so I was like, you know what, let me try the one that's actually for my skin type, like one of the recommendations. It looks really good. It's medium to full coverage and it's buildable coverage, which I do like. And it's sweat, humidity, and exercise resistant. I really like that. It has a demi matte finish. The second product I picked up is from Huda Beauty. This is one of the lip contour sets. I got the Trendsetter and Bombshell Duo. This is what it looks like. I'm trying to get better lighting for you guys. I bought one of these little dual sets um, in the Vixen one. Vixen and I forget what the other color was, but the darker set. And I don't really wear dark colors a lot. And I really loved the quality. But I knew I wasn't going to wear it all the time because I don't really wear dark lipstick. So I decided to get the nude ones um, so that I could get more use out of it. And honestly, I love her lip liners so much. I'm obsessed with her lip liners. And I really want to try um, the nude liquid lipstick. So probably going to wear these tomorrow also and give them a try. But that's it. I'm seriously not buying any more makeup because I have too much makeup. I literally cleaned out all my makeup. I don't need anything else. But I did really need a new foundation because because I self-tan so much, the majority of all the foundations I really love are really dark. And it's been really hard for me to find a good shade for me when I'm not super self-tanned. And I don't want to be as dark when I self-tan anymore. So I got something a little sh uh, lighter. I picked up the shade 2.4. I'm watching Hairspray Live right now. It's so good. It literally just started and it's already so, so good. Like, I love seeing people singing live. And this is actually one of my favorite movies. So it is fun. 